hi so this is the video number four where we study the laptop schematics so in this video we're going to see the cpu circuit as you can see we're gonna study this circuit and of course we're gonna study it in its schematic so this is basically the cpu circuit where we have the ic as you can see the main component in the cpu circuit are the ic the cpu controller ic the mosfets as you can see we have here four mosfets for the first channel and we have other four mosfets for the second channel then we have inductor to increase the current for the first channel we have another inductor for the second channel and then we have here capacitors this is chemical capacitors or polarized capacitors in order to get a pure voltage we have here two capacitors for the first channel and two other capacitors for the second channel this channel basically is the master and this is the slave okay so here we will get plus vcc core basically plus vcc core is the main voltage for the cpu so without this voltage the cpu cannot operate it correctly so basically this voltage can vary between 0.8 volt to 1.2 volt depending on the type of the cpu let's see these components in the motherboard we have here the ic the mosfets inductor and chemical capacitors okay so if we go here as you can see this is the cpu circuit so here this is the first side okay and this is the back of the motherboard okay so here next to the cpu we have two channels as you can see exactly as we have seen in the schematic two channels the first channel with four mosfets inductor and two chemical capacitors and the second channel with four mosfets two chemical capacitors inductor so here we have the first channel this is the first channel here okay with four mosfets two mosfets here and two other mosfets in the back of the motherboard with two chemical capacitors okay so this and this is the first channel and here we have the second channel the inductor with these two mosfets and the other two mosfets in the back in the motherboard means four mosfets and two chemical capacitors basically this capacitors is not chemical capacitor this is tantalum capacitors these capacitors also are polarized capacitors do you see this mark here means plus and here means minus so plus minus plus minus okay so in order to generate this voltage as you can see we need first the 19 volt as you can see here we have plus v bat okay this plus v bat means the 19 volt so if we go back to the first of the schematic as you can see we have here the plus v bat as you can see so this is the adapter here so where the adapter will generate 19 volt and it will pass through this switch or mosfets and through this current sense resistor so the purpose of this resistor is to be melt when there is an overcurrent and then we will get here plus v bat 19 volt so this plus v bat as you can see will be distributed to all ic's in the motherboard as we have seen in the previous video so it will be distributed to this ic to generate 5 volt 3 volt and also this ic and this ic and this one and this one and this one so for for us we study right now this ic okay so here this is 19 volt so the ic get the 19 volt with many enable signals including the power good and voltage id in order to generate plus vcc core this is the first channel as you can see and this is the second channel here we have the main channel and the slave channel 
exactly as we have seen here this is the first chain or the main chain and over here we have the slave chain all this channel has the purpose to generate the plus vcc core all this channel has the purpose to generate the plus vcc core for the processor okay so so here we have 19 volt so the 19 volt as you can see will pass do you see this bold line with a high voltage trace this is a 19 volt and those lines means control signals it can be 3 volt 2 volt etc so the 19 volt will pass through two serum capacitors this is basically filtering capacitors and goes to the, these two mosfets here goes to these two mosfets these two mosfets okay so and then when this MOSFET receives the control signal in its gate, this is basically the gate here, two gates as you can see, the same control signal, it will be generated from the IC as you can see here. We have upper gate, this is upper gate, this is the control signal for these two MOSFETs. So the voltage will pass directly here to this stage. Here we will get the, the plus VCC core, but this plus VCC core that we will get here, it will pass through the inductor in order to increase the current and then pass through these two chemical capacitors in order to be filtered. And then we will get a pure voltage. Okay, So the value of these two chemical or 10 term capacitors is 220 microfarad 2.5 volt as you can see its maximum voltage of this chemical of these capacitors is just 2.5 volt because the vcc core cannot be more than 2.5 volt it can be 0.8 volts 0.9 volt or just one volt okay so the same for the second channel as you can see always here we have the plus v bar the 19 volt will goes directly and pass through this bus and it will be applied to these two mosfets as you can see q519 and q520 and then pa pass through it after receiving the control signal here we have the gate as you can see the control signal is comes from the IC, the CPU IC. We have the control signal over here. So the plus VC, we will get here a plus VCC core. This plus VCC core, of course, will be applied to an inductor in order to increase the current and then pass through these two 10 ton capacitors C804 and C803. 803 in order to be filtered the same value we have 222 microfarad 2.5 volt for two capacitors okay here basically we have a diode okay this this diode basically is a protection diode as you can see the cathode of a diode is connected to the power rail and its anode is connected to the ground this is a protection diode okay also in the main channel we have the same diode okay here we have the plus vcc core so this plus vcc core will be applied to the cpu and then the cpu will work fine okay so let's summarize a little bit so we have the cpu so the cpu need plus vcc core in order to work properly so here as you can see we have inductors so in order to generate this plus vcc core we need an ic basically we don't have ic here so we need an ic the cpu control ic we know we need two channels this is the inductor we have two mosfets here and we have two another two mosfets with two 10 term capacitors in order to filter the voltage i hope that you understand the CPU circuit and we're gonna continue in the next videos and please don't forget to like the video 
and share it if you like it. And for anyone who wants to download this schematic, you can just go to my Patreon page and you will find the schematic. You can download it for free. Thank you.